I'm going to keep this as raw and as uncut as I possibly can. Today I've decided to take on what I would class for myself a very big challenge. Let me just show you. My family are away for the weekend, well at least until tomorrow, so what I want to do is get all of that, this whole section, processed. All of these items of clothing today, plus I've got another Ikea bag in the house, all of that, no matter what, is getting done. This is happening, I don't care, no excuses. It's currently 10.04am and I'm going to get this done. I'm going to get it done. That means I'll get it processed and listed for eBay and or Vinted and also sort out what is not sellable and that can go into the car boot pile. Regardless, whatever happens today, that rail is empty and sorted. <sighs> Let's get it. Oh, that was just one little bundle. That's just one little bundle. That's heavier than I thought. Oh my God. Let's try oh, I don't know how to do it. Little by little. This is a big task for me. It's going to free up a lot of space as well. It's going to give me the option for another shelving unit. Just means I'm going to be in here all day, basically. Oh my goodness. Ah, there's that top. Looking for that. Big man Graham sent me this. Tango two points. Big up yourself. Perfect weather for that now as well. There's just so much stuff. Oh my god, that's like. Normally I'd do a whatnot stream and move all this on, but whatnot sucks for me at the minute. Royal Mal can suck a big one. <clears throat> Seriously, why is this never ending? Why is it not stopping? I haven't even finished yet. And I've still got, excuse the mess, a part of a bag down there full of it. Oh God. We're not stopping, baby. We're getting this done. I think I was a bit optimistic bringing in one bag, one box to put it in. I need to find another box. And I've also got upstairs on my wardrobe door another eight or ten pieces. Oh god. Oh god. Ada's not here for the day. George is not here for the day. And Emma's not here for the day. I'm not none of them's coming back until tomorrow. So it gives me the oh shit. Oh, oh that's the dress that Shazzy sent me, isn't it? Wonder what that was for a second. And the jacket. Okay, that's all of it off the rails. I think I'm off the rails. Just trim on one of the kids' toys. See, once that's cleared, all of them are bowls, lawn bowls, tons of them. Once that's cleared, I can fit another one of these in. Some of you might have realized my eBay store is dwindling, dwindling, and I'm doing offers on loads of stuff. I am basically re structuring my business, where I sell things, how I sell things, what goes on there, and for what price. So it's just all part of the process. Ready for a good start in the new year. Okay, right. Okay, let's get it. I've woke up, sorted Ada out, got her off to Ananas, and just decided that's what I'm doing in the last 10 minutes. Literally, I've, this video's been recording for six minutes 37. I decided to do this about seven minutes ago. I haven't even done my hair, I haven't done nothing. I just got up. Oh, now I'm looking at it, it's making me feel sick. So there's not much I can do regarding updating you, so I am just going to crack on. It's now quarter past ten. I'll give you some updates as we go along, I guess. Wish me luck. It's going to be hard to do updates on this, but I thought just for context, let me show you. It's 25 past and we've processed three onto the fourth one. Obviously, I've got to watch the JRE DJT podcast. You have to do, look at that, 6.9 million views in seven hours. When I woke up this morning, that was on 4 million views at 7 o'clock. So in 3 hours, it's doubled up. And some. Wish my car boot videos would get that point of view. Oh. It's going to be a very good jacket. It's a great jacket. It's a lovely jacket. It's the most beautiful jacket. <coughs> Quick little update. We are currently sitting at 
quarter past 11, I think we started at quarter past 10, is that right? Quarter past 10, I think. Something like that. We've managed to fill, hold on. We've managed to fill an 80 litre box, a little bit of space on there. We've managed to start acquiring a pile which needs washing and a pile which needs some kind of attention. Unfortunately, we've got quite a bit of it here. Like this one's got, well, I can't find it, but it's got a hole. We're working our way through nicely. And now we've filled up a tub. So now what I'm gonna do, great, great, great haircut guy. Great, beautiful haircut, the best haircut. So now what I'm gonna do is, hello there Trump. A bit of a ravelly interview to be honest with you. Now what I'm gonna do, the best interview is sit down and start listing all of this stuff while I'm watching this, just to break up my workspace because let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, I get bored. I need to do different tasks. Otherwise I just give up or I'll do it half assed. I've been, I've, at it, I've been at it for an hour. I've got a full box of stuff. So what's that, 18, 20 pieces maybe? I'll just list them now. Then that task will get boring. And I'll be ready to tackle some more of this. I'm a genius. Know yourself, all right? Know yourself. You're your own boss. You can switch tasks. You're allowed to do that. You're in charge. So a bit. So I've just sat down. I'm going to start listing. But this is why I love Vinted. This is how easy it is. So pick your items. What are they? Under Armour. Blue jogging bottoms, gym sportswear, size large. Very good condition, pre owned. In fact, I like to under promise and over deliver, so good condition. You'll notice most of my listings they say good condition, even if they're very good. And then to do the screw, so I'm in box O, I'll literally just write size large. So people don't get confused and then just put a little o there and then i know what it is men's joggers trousers brand under armor got all the tags size the size large so i'm just gonna put large and don't worry about the waist condition good colors blue price let's do eight pounds 88 parcel size small they're listed they're listed. Do you know what I mean? So easy. So now I'll just sit there and do that all morning until the box is done while I'm watching the greatest podcast, the best podcast. That's terrible. Shut up. Right, so there we go. That's all the vinted stuff is listed. Anything that's going to go on vinted is on. And on eBay, we've got them drafted. These are what's drafted. I've just counted. There's actually only 15. I thought there was more than that, which is very annoying. 12 o'clock, I'm an hour and a half into this and I ain't said a lot. And now I've done that, my only task now is to get back onto this pile, isn't it, I suppose? Which is very annoying. I've got a funny feeling a lot of this is going to be dragged back into the garage. No, it's not. No, it's not. You've got all day. I've got another six hours before I've got to go anywhere. I actually cracked on and managed to get a few more pairs of trousers listed. We've got some Levi's jeans and some Adidas jogging bottoms and a few other different pairs here. Some more Levi's, some nudie jeans. Not that the pictures are loading. Some Nike joggers, brand new with tags and a few more bits. So we've got five more pairs done and dusted. Let's move on to the rest. Oh. I've, just done, <laughs> shush, Donald. I've just done a quick update on things that I've listed with the five more pairs of trousers and some of the items have actually been selling so what i've decided to do is give you an update at the end of this and see how much i've sold while i'm listing it does that make sense of course it makes sense what does that make sense for it's half past 12 now and i'm kind of making a dent in the pile but bear in mind obviously there's a lot that just isn't isn't been listed it just needs to be sorted out so we're going to do a sales update at the end and see what we've sold cool Let's dive straight back into this. Yeah, boy. It is five, oh, I don't even know what time it is anymore. 10 past one. The pile has dwindled down. We are getting there. We're starting to make some good progress. We have a box that is rammed to the top. We still have a washing pile. The needs attention pile has grown a little bit and the death pile has started. Not good enough for Vinted or eBay, but we'll do well at the car boot sale. 50p or a pound. We managed to get through quite a few hangers. There was a lot of stuff that wasn't even on hangers, so we can't really look at it like that. But that is nice to see so far. <sighs> and I will get through it all. I will get through. I will get through. I'll do this! Still 
the pair of them haven't said a lot. Quite a boring interview, if I'm honest. Maybe I'm missing something, I don't know. And we still have this pole down here, but that wasn't included in today's task. We're getting there. I'm looking dishevelled. More dishevelled. Look at these tags, look. We've got Macklemore today. I've been popping tags, baby. Yeah, and we're selling through the stuff quite nicely as well as we go. And I've had like four things sell so far, which is pretty decent. So, come on, let's keep going. We can do this. We can do this. I need to eat something. Somebody please explain to me how I've just got a really expensive pair of Bellstaff trousers just sitting in a death pile. Bellstaff motorcycle trousers. Fantastic. Also, just there, that's a pair of Bellstaff ladies jodhpurs. But that box is officially ramo and full. So that one can go out. And this one can come in. Oh boy, half past one, it's getting dark. I'm always running out of light to do this, to be fair. It might have to be mission abort, because I'm not bringing any light in here. I don't specialize in like perfect pictures. That's just not who I am when it comes to that. As long as it's clean, as long as it's clear, I'm good. I'm not trying to get on Google search or any of that jargon. So we'll just have to see what happens. But we're doing all right so far. Well, I'm kind of calling it. I've made a executive decision to actually modify the pile so we've put a load of it back on top of the other stuff which is not a massive amount to be honest and we've got this pile here which is what i'm going to do today left so i'm going to sort through that i've got about 12 15 pieces there that's going to be what i'm going to finish up on 10 to 2 and i've just about had enough i've got to be honest so that's that's what i'm making this interview was a load of old shy if i'm honest boring no, nobody said anything just same old political bullshit if I'm missing something, tell me. I'd like to be educated about the current world situations. This is what I fall asleep to every single night. It's my go-to. Beautiful. Rain on fabric. Mm. So I'm going to have to crack on and get that done. You can hear in the voice I sound very defeated. But better than a day job, isn't it? Quarter past two and I am officially beaten. I'm trying to take photos of this jacket and it is just not coming up because it's black. It's just horrendous. Because I refuse to have the lights in here, obviously. My job is to make my life easier. And that's just not going to help if I have to go and drag loads of lights in here. So, I have to save them for another day. However, that is not a fail to me. That is really good. I have made some solid progress and the clothing is now in here, ready to be done. As soon as I get a little snatch of daylight back, I'm going to like jump in and grab it. I've got some daylight when I open this blinds, but I'm not photographing up against there. I need to photograph up against there because the light is this side round. But there's nothing for me to hang it on just there. You know what I mean? So, we're all right. We've processed probably 30 to 40 items. Worked out what's naff worked out what is naff but sellable on the car boot. We're all right. We're good. Quarter past two, I'm gonna call it. Is that a fail? I don't think so. Did I complete the mission? Nah, nah, we never got there in the end. I was beaten. Oh, is that gonna work? So a little glimmer of light. Nah, nah, it just comes out purple. Well, I'm happy and that's all that matters, isn't it? I need to go and get myself sorted out. Four o'clock and the light has come back, but I've actually decided, yeah, I like this one, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it. Nice, 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 nice. Thank you. Nine o'clock the next day and the grind does not stop. What a cheesy saying, but it doesn't. I've got people coming over today. I need to clear this stuff. Started making another dent on this and moving things across. And it is in fact my birthday today. So what a wonderful way to spend it. We started on the 26th and we're finishing on the 28th. We're going to go through the sales I've had over the weekend on eBay and Vinted. And a lot of it is the clothing you just saw me listing and going through. And we've had some mighty sales as well. Some labels you should be looking out for. Let's get into it. First off, we're going to start with a steal. An absolute bargain. Jenny Packham. This is sold for £17.17. A nice little sequiny top. I actually got some information off of... Emma, she told me that I need to use the keyword bell sleeves. I can see why. Really good brand to be looking out for. Again, I'll show you the label just so you can keep your eyes peeled in case you ever see it. Jenny Packham. I've just undone the button. Fiddly things these are. Honestly, men, we've got t-shirts, polo shirts, and shirts. You've got all sorts of keywords going on. This is sold for £17.17 and, and sold within two minutes of me listing it. Two minutes, if that. A pair of Oshkosh toddler trousers. These are two years old, really thick, really warm. Again, another brand that you should be really keeping an eye out for. These have sold for seven pounds and seven pence. Remember, all of my clothing is picked up for pence in a bundle, 50p on their own, 
maximum five pound. So if I dive in and tell you it's because it's about a fiver, actually, to be fair, no, some of this stuff is whatnot. Ignore that. John over at Cuzzo Villa Fan on Vinted has picked up my Rohan bags. These have served me very well, probably the last two years now. Again, on the older tag, same as that shirt that I picked up recently. Yeah, really, really nice. He left me a message and said, love your YouTube videos and can finally buy something from you. Cheers and all the best. No, John, cheers to you, mate, and all the best to you. I don't know if I said 13 pound and 13 pence they sold for. Bargains. Another pair of my old faithful trousers. A lot of you would have seen me working in these. My Dickies work pants. These have push-in pockets so you can have the flaps out. Behave yourselves. Yeah, they're just a really nice, solid pair of trousers. Nice and cheap, £9.70. Knockstar has picked these bad boys up. So thank you, Martin. I massively appreciate that, dude. What else we got going out today? £12.12. We have this Gant super fine virgin wool jumper. I paid £3.50 for this one. No, it's £4.50. £3.50 or £4.50. I can't exactly remember, to be honest with you. But that has sold for £12.12. £12. I have been listing a few items of clothing on eBay as well. So I've got some to show you on there. Got some little caucus as well, to be honest. And fee free is just beautiful. It's so like, what's the word? Satisfying. Little bundle now for ten ninety nine. We have sold the Under Armour joggers. These were my own personal. A lot of this stuff was my own from upstairs and off the rail that I uh, shifted on. There was two pieces to this bundle. Did I take them out and then put it back in the box? I think I did, that's annoying. Did I? I think I did. Wait, did I? What? Makes zero sense. Found them, they fell down there. Under Armour trousers and my protein trousers. Bought them both for the gym to use. I'm so lost of what I'm doing now. Under Armour, my protein. Little bundle of two. £10.99 they sold for. Darren's picked those up. He said, We subscribe and watch your channel daily and love what you do for the community. Where's that community award, eBay? 10 bags, please. Keep up the good work, bud. Cheers, Darren and Karen. Darren and Karen. Oi, Darren and... No, let's stop. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I got loads of gym kit for my birthday yesterday. Emma went mental, but I'm really happy with it. I've been a bit slack on the gym the last few days, obviously. It's my birthday weekend and Emma's been away. I've had to have the children. I haven't been able to make it to the gym. I've been eating a lot of shit, but you can't beat yourself up. It's absolutely fine. It's okay. It's okay to have that. I'm on track, baby. I'm on track. 18 pound and 18 pence is this absolute banger. Bought this from Where Deadstock Stream on Hot Knot for about 30 quid. I was buying it for myself. It reverses into this like sear sucker almost type of material and then you can reverse it into a black on the back. It does have a little rip on the corner of the pocket. That's how it arrived. I didn't know it had a rip when I bought it. It wasn't said, but it's easy to miss to be fair. I'm not slagging Michael off. Love you, Michael. Paid about 30 quid, but I did have some Hot Knot credits at the time. So it didn't cost me much at all. Sold it for 18 pound and 18 pence. Beautiful. A bundle of two Polar Skate Co. long sleeve t-shirts. Paid three pounds each for these. And these are the ones that I went mental at in the charity shop to myself, to the viewers. About them always sticking the tags through here and they put holes in them. So it really affected the price. I got home and put them on the rail, never to be seen again until yesterday. Listed and sold for 11 pounds 30. So I spent six. Got 11.30, almost a double up, almost. I don't mind an almost double up. Wow, 10 minutes into filming, we haven't even done half of it. Brand spanking new Nike khaki joggers. I think Rick actually sent me these in a bundle of stuff, to be honest. I was gonna keep them for myself and then they're just too small. They're a size medium, but they're brand new with the tags. These have sold for 15 pound and 15 pence. And I got a message that says, hey Ricky, long time watcher, first time buyer. Always a first time for everything. These will do well for the boys Christmas present. Thanks mate, you are most, most welcome. We'll get them out to you today, Daniel. Thank you, mate. Another nice little bundle for £25. We've sold the Fat Face Reindeer Christmassy type jumper, little quarter zip that I paid £6.54. 
and we've also sold the Nike tracksuit that at a car boot sale I paid five pounds for. So we've got the bottoms and we've got the top. So 11 pounds 50 in, 25 pounds out, we'll take it. Mr. D Smith, that's what your name is on there. I really appreciate it, mate, thank you so much. Non-clothing on Vinted now, we sold the Teletubby bundle quite rapid to be fair. £3.50 I paid for this, sold it for £7.10. And, and this has gone to Darren and Sarah. Darren and Sarah said, thanks mate, just watching today's episode as I type this, which would have been the one where I picked those up. They say they both watch the channel daily and love it. Happy birthday on Sunday, brother. Thank you so much, I appreciate that. Darren and Sarah, thank you both. All you do is sell to your subscribers and friends. All you do is pay for promoted listings, mugs. Five pound and 55 pound is this, five pound and 55 pound, I wish. Five pound and 55 pence is this Knight's Playmobil bundle. This was one pound 75. Moved on swiftly. There's like little horses and stuff in there, bits and pieces. Sold the Kugi bag, nice and cheap, but obviously it's got a bit of wear and tear on it. That's what ruined it basically. If it was in much better condition than that, I think I would have eBay auctioned it. Because apparently I got some information back from one of you lovely guys on Instagram and it was a while ago now so I do apologise, I cannot remember who it was, feel free to make yourself known. But they actually reached out to Kugi on my behalf, I'm guessing by email into the corporate and they replied back and said this is actually one of their archive models. So quite a rare piece, paid a pound for that, the car boot sale. Sold it for 19.94 to bargains by Bill, BBB. Cheers, bud. Really appreciate it. Keep up the great videos. Hope you have a great birthday. I did. Thank you, mate. Massively appreciate it. Birthday is a little bit like meh as you get older, isn't they? Everyone tries to make a fuss of you at home, and I'm just like, not bothered. And I mean it. I, I, I really wish I was more enthusiastic about birthdays. I do wish. I do wish. It would be so good, man. Fucking bin, man. Thank you for taking the bins, though. Three pound and thirty-three pence. We have sold the Millennium ninety-nine to the year two thousand cufflinks. These have sold to. Harvey. Harvey's picked him up and said, thanks, Ricky, found something I want. Mine and my girlfriend's birth year. I never would have thought of that. 99 and 2000. Clever. He said, I know you get these emails all of the time, but long-term sub of the channel. Thank you for your loyalty. I don't think I've missed one vid in a few years. That is some doing, mate. On a business note, you've completely changed how I do business. I used to price things high and they'd sit. Now I price them low and get quick sales. It's made reselling fun again. On a personal note, you're a top guy and we need more people like you. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Love them words. Thank you so much. I do appreciate that. Harvey, on the way to you. Hope you and your missus get plenty of use out of them or just a little bit of fun because, to be fair, who wears one cufflink? You could, actually. Of course you could. Do what you like in this life. Game of Thrones, Westeros Intrigue, paid 150, sold it for, above the asking price, £3.45, actually. Hi, Ricky. I was the one who said about not being able to buy from you as I am in Northern Ireland. I've just realised that doesn't include Vinted. Thanks, Donna. No, Donna, it doesn't include Vinted. Get on over there, you Irish lot. Northern Irish lot. Thank you, Donna, I appreciate it. I think you're Hundonna on um, Vin on whatnot, aren't you? I think. Pretty sure. 17 minutes, oh my God. Last but not least, we have sold this lovely, lovely little cast iron centrepiece thing. Annoyingly, when I got this, I had a piece of paper stuffed in just there, in that tiny little slot and it had some weird stuff like whatever cathedral it was a lot it was on a post-it note something cathedral and then it had like other random bits which didn't even relate to anything to do with this and i was like oh junk threw it away i reckon it's actually telling me what cathedral these nails came from which is very annoying i did i did say it to the lady as well sasha so on vintage sasha 1837 i'm sure that's not your birth year has picked this up please do go check her out she's got a lot of jewelry coming in soon she said she's just going through a lot of stuff so could be some bargain to be had there. Definitely one worth saving. She said she definitely believes it was a commission piece. I, I do too. Pieced? A commission piece. But from who? We'll never know. We could have known. I'll have a look in that bin in a minute. The only thing is, that's how big the bin is from the week. So, so, so it is going to be in there, I think. And a piece of paper. I'll do that for you, girl. £9.99. Massively appreciate it. That is all for Vinted. So I'm going to get this lot packed up and then we'll move over to eBay. And there's quite a few on there as well. Oh my God. It's gonna be a long video, this one. Ada is so excited for Halloween. <laughs> We're decorating the house. Jumping into eBay now, moving straight in in no particular order, is this second House Martin chess and drafts board. Sold for £8.99, I think. £8.99. pence. The last one sold for £9.99. Men's Schoffel shirt. Had this on the hanger for ages. Finally listed it. Sold it for £30. If you don't know this brand, uh, it's a bit packed up. I've been starting to add some of these to my clothing now. I didn't do it yesterday. Schoffel, 
I think that's how you say it, or is a very, very, very strong brand to look out for. So keep your eyes peeled for that one. Try and add that to the bank. I'll put a logo up here in case you've never heard of it. Not everyone has. Keep an eye out. Still got to pack that power brick from the other day. <laughs> 20 pounds all in we have sold this bandai hilux it's actually a transformer it transforms into a transformer bot and it sort of like it moves across like that and also the winch which everything's working i'll put a video up on ebay as well um winches across and then the truck moves fantastic bit of kit paid 150 i think for this sort of for 20 pounds i can't really show you but i'll do a screenshot actually it's a little glass hand blown deer thing from around about the 50s, like Bambi-esque looking, it's all for 12 quid. Just one of those things that I just pick up in bundles. I would never bought that on its own. It just, it just comes, if I buy a box of stuff, it just comes in it, you know what I mean? £8.99 for a little set of Staunton chess pieces. These are by WHS. I think they're bust now, ain't they? I can't remember. Well, I think they're still going. Did I hear some news a little while ago? WH Smith were going out of, can't remember. $8.99. £17.99 we've sold the two creepy little saucepans. These are from the 70s. They're actually from Mothercare, which is gone bust. I don't think that's going to focus. But it's from Mothercare. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with brands that have gone bust. It's just weird, isn't it, when you see things like here today, gone tomorrow, and all that. £9.99 we have sold a slide rule. It's not the most important one. It is not in the best condition, but some slide rules can go for good money. This one, System Rights, I think that's what you say, System Ritz. I sold for 9.99. We're not complaining. 16 pounds and 19 pence. We have two Scalectrix cars for spares and repairs. They have, they're just not in the best condition at all. They're off to America, I think. You notice in the theme here, we've got 9.99s and stuff. 9.99, we have sold this hat. This is a Simon Fairfax hat, Harris Tweed collaboration. So it's got Harris Tweed, um, Tweed. <laughs> a little feather in the side. £9.99, paid £2.75 from St Michael's. Another one that I paid two quid for is this Liz Cox little Scottish dog purse, coin purse, wallet thing. Sold for £11.24. The bigger the stuff, Liz Cox stuff, handbags, whatever else, the more money. A snapped Pirelli cap, all mentioned in the listing. The, the cap is brand new, never been used. It's part of a big bundle that I picked up, but this cap has snapped on the peak. You can see there. But still sold for five pounds all in, so make about a quid back after everything on that. I'll just slip this one into the video somewhere. I'm packing up. The parcels are almost done. But we've had another sale come through. This is one of the things that I listed just the other day as well. It is a genuine vintage British Airways pilot jacket. Really nice one. Stripes on the sleeve. Ada is kicking right off in the house. That has sold for thirty-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. No fees. Come on eBay. I'll be sad when the eBay fee free things are gone. And my favourite sale from yesterday, which you would have seen on my listings, is this jacket. This is a ski jacket by Elho. I think it's called Elho or Elho. Elho. I don't know how you say it, but it's reversible. That's the other side pattern. Really, really nice. Elho freestyle. Elho freestyle. It's a big ski jacket. It is stained. It has stains all over it and marks all over it. And the elastics have perished. All of that has been mentioned in the listing. But this is quite a strong snowboarding brand and skiing brand. And actually they released, they re-released a lot of their heritage stuff and this was one of them. But this isn't, this is an original, but they re-released this design as well. And it's making a massive comeback on the slopes. I listed this for £89.99. I've got an offer of £70, bearing in mind it's free fees. So I said, go on then, I'll have it. I had this hanging up for ages. I knew it was worth some money, but I just couldn't be bothered to try and sell it with all like, the marks and whatever else. And then when I was doing my picture in let's have a quick look and see what's going on with this brand at the minute and i saw that not too long ago they re-released the heritage stuff so i was like cool let's get it up got it gone 70 pounds all in to keep a lookout for that brand and this video has gone on forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever thank you for watching now youtube knows you better than you do and they think that this is going to be the best video for you take a click on it and let me know if it was right